How's it going everybody? My name is MDK, WLAN, otherwise known as MDK, and today we're back in Arch Linux. Today we're going to go over the AUR and building from source. This is very handy to know and is very essential to using Arch as a main operating system. Arch itself uh, will not obviously include every single file known to man. Certain files you're going to have to build from source. So, for example, uh, there's a program I use called Mangler. Mangler is a voice over IP client for Ventrilo because Ven Ventrilo never made a client for Linux, so it was a workaround. In order to install it, you have to build it from source. So, there are certain programs that you'll come along that you need to build from source. This is just an easy way of doing it. Downloading the tarball from the AUR doesn't download the source code, it did just in downloads an instruction for the operating system to build from source essentially so when you download something from the AUR you're not downloading the source code you're downloading what's called a package build so just so I don't lose people here you're not downloading the file itself it's not like you're downloading a binary like you're in Windows or anything like that you're just downloading the instructions to download from source just so we have that all squared away I would suggest before you proceed any further that you create a folder that is specifically for files that you would build from source. Uh, put it somewhere that you would know it exists and if you're going to download the tarball make sure that it goes in there. Doing this spawns a lot of different files and it spawns a, di a lot of different folders and it's good to have them for f future reference in case something breaks. So it just makes it a lot easier for yourself in the future. So when you find a program that you want to install, click download tarball and download it to whatever directory you wish. Then open up terminal and move to wherever you downloaded it and proceed with these steps. We need to remove the compression from the tarball, so tar xdf file name. As you can see doing that creates another folder we need to change into that folder. Now, I suggest not doing this as root because the command's a little bit different, but it's not really that much different. We need to do make pkg tac s. The tac s command will resolve all dependencies so we don't run into like an RPM hell issue, if you want to think of it like that. Uh, and it just makes life a lot easier. If you're running as root, you need to do hyphen hyphen as root, and then it's pretty much just the same. If you're running as a normal user, doing this command will eventually prompt you to enter in your pseudo command, or your pseudo password rather. So let's do that. And it's going to download dependencies. All right, now it's installing the dependencies that it just downloaded and it's checking for more. There are some more missing dependencies. These are rather small though. And now it's going to download the actual source code for the GNOME terminal or the whatever program. And now it's starting the long build process. Well, for this program it's not that long because it's a very small program, but you could imagine if it was like say for example a kernel <laughs> this would take a fairly long time essentially what you're looking at is what Gentoo is Gentoo essentially takes all all the programs and compiles them in the source so it's good in the sense that everything's customized and it will probably increase your performance it's bad in the sense that it takes time. Compiling a kernel with four cores running at three and a half gigahertz overclocked still takes ages. It's surprising how long it takes to build from source. So once that's done compiling and it's the package is already there, um, you can see by doing ls and looking for anything that ends in a dot pkg dot tar dot xz if it ends in that then you have the wonderful file that you need I'm going to 
clear the screen here. We need to do, well, pseudo Pac-Man attack, capital U, and then whatever the file name is, and make sure it ends in the dot .pkg dot tar dot xz. Press enter, agree to install it, and it's installed. A handy command for the future to know is sudo pacman tac capital Q M. This will tell you all the what's called foreign installed programs are. A foreign installed program is essentially any manually installed program, any program that you built from source and installed. So let's check out our terminal. As you can see, it's dark, but that's just because of uh, LXDE. I can change that here in a second. And as you can see, it's a fully functional terminal emulator. Um, so, And it's fully functional. So that's essentially how you build a program from source using the AUR within Arch Linux. If you have any suggestions, ideas for future videos, please let me know down in the comments or send me a message on YouTube. Apart from that, guys, have a good one. See you later.